Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today from the desk of Microsoft Resources Tech Team. This is James Wong. Today we'll be presenting to you Revit Server, making it work in the office. If you've already set up the Revit Server, creating central files and connecting your workstations is the next obvious step. We'll be using the same virtual environment and continue our Revit Server implementation. So we're back on our DC1 server and right now I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Revit Server test version 1 and what this does is that you can name the folders as you need so project name based on date year etc etc project number and I'm actually going to connect my workstation Revit architecture 2011 to the Revit server so I'm going to start up Revit architecture 2011 I'm sure that everybody in the team and in the company has the same Revit build that's very important Let's go ahead and connect the Revit architecture to our server right now. And just click on the Collaborate tab. And inside the Collaborate tab, hit and Synchronize. And there's a Connect to Server. You can select your server name. Um, it's already connected to DC1, or you can change it to DC2, whichever you like. And you click Connect, and then you hit Close. Okay, now that we actually set up the workstation, let's go ahead and click on basic sample project. We're just going to create a sample project right now. And we're going to take the sample project and dump it over to our Revit server. And let's see how that's done. Well, first thing, we're going to go to the Collaborate tab. And we're going to click on Work Sets. So enabling work sets and work sharing allows us the ability to create central files as opposed to working locally. And click OK for that. All right, and that's about it. The next step is to actually save this project onto our Revit server. So by in order to do that, we're going to click on Save As. Save as project. And instead of browsing to your D drive, your Z drive, or whatever drives you, you have mapped, as in the traditional method, what we're going to do right now is on the left hand side, we're going to scroll over and click on Revit Server. As you can see here, there's a Revit file structure, Revit Server models. And I've created the Revit Server test version one. Let's click on that. And this is where we're going to save our um, project. We're just going to call this a RS underscore test one. And let's click on save. And it's going to save on over to our Revit server, which is on DC1. Right after you finish um, saving the file onto the Revit server, you have in essence created a central file. It is highly recommended that you close this file before you continue working. Um, I'm actually going to close the entire program out just for safe measures. And I'm going to start Revit Architecture 2011. I'm going to go into the file open. And I'm going to browse into my Revit server. Revit server models and Revit server test version 1. And this is the Revit test that we just created. So I'm going to click on open. But before we do that, verify in the work sharing area that the create new local checkbox is selected if you select detach from central what this does is that it will give you this dialog box over here as it will create an independent file and you will be unable to sync this is only good if you get models from consultants or partners that you want to work um, separate from the project so we're going to click no to that so the only time you will not create a new local file is when you're the BIM administrator and only if you're the BIM administrator. So clearing both options will actually open the central model itself instead of a copy. This is only useful for large scale operations. This is not used for the standard user. So I'm just going to click on open. And we're set. Now that we've finished creating a central file in our Revit server and gone through the concept of Revit server, you can expand this technology exponentially. In essence, creating a wide area geographically dispersed environment, allowing your Revit team to be anywhere in the world. doesn't matter if you're in New York, you're in Hong Kong, you're in Shanghai or Madagascar, you can work on the same Revit file. Hooray! 
So now I want to spend a little bit of time going back to our Revit Server Administrator. And where when problems happen, all your BIM administrators out there will be scratching their heads and trying to figure out what went wrong. All BIM admins will need to be able to access the Revit Server's web access portal. This is vital for making backups and changing the fi folder hierarchy. There's not too many commands out there. Um, you have to play around with these tools and get your folder hierarchy to work the way you want it. You need to lock your files before making any backups. Please make sure that you back up your Revit files routinely. By routinely, this doesn't mean every month. It means every week and if possible every day. This ensures that if you have any major catastrophic problems that you can go to the last known backup and you won't lose too much of your work and this is vital for um, your BIM team. As you probably know we barely skimmed the surface on Revit Server. There's actually a lot of potential in this technology. After creating the central server in New York for instance if your firm decides to open a new office um, in Seattle you actually can just pop a new server there and call it a local server and have it communicate with your central server. This can actually touch international regions as well. For instance, if your firm wants to open an office in Hong Kong or even Madagascar. As long as all the servers have adequate bandwidth and to talk to each other, your Revit projects and your Revit team will be able to work seamlessly. If you need additional insight into some best practices and techniques, feel free to check out our other videos. If you still can't figure out what is best for you and your firm, feel free to shoot us an email. Thanks again for checking out the video and I hope you guys enjoy yourselves and enjoy Revit Server.